learn something, bro. Let's learn something. Let's let's take it to school real quick, bro. This dude Tom Scott. I be watching him all the time, bro. I know y'all do too. He one of the biggest YouTubers. He be recording random stuff, and I like it. It's very cool, very informational. Now, this one is why this falling rock sign is more important than most. I'm guessing, judging by the architecture, he's somewhere in northern Europe, northeastern Europe. I don't know. I don't know Europe like that. But it looked like the Netherlands or something like that. So maybe there's like a mountain with rocks that fall really hard. I don't know. This is one of those problems that seems like to be really complicated to fix, but turns out to have a simple solution but then that solution turns out to be really complicated. This is Rings huh? in Switzerland. It's a small- Switzerland, I wasn't too far off. Absolutely beautiful hills and mountains that occasionally That's nice. kill people. This uh, whole hillside is slowly sliding and slipping down. It can't hold itself up. Most of the time, it's silent and still, but occasionally a load of heavy rocks will tumble down. Actually, I feel like heavy rocks isn't really getting the point across. This is one of the rocks, and worst case, it'll travel across that road at 10 Yo. or 20 kilometers an hour sideways das ganze dorf Dude. sehr schneller geschwindigkeit talwärts 1,5 meter im jahr unterwegs aber die all right um, i already got a solution get a bigger rock and put it next to the next to the street so that if the rocks fall it'll just hit the bigger rock but since they're smaller it can't move it so it'll just kind of bounce off and absorb all the energy and then you know it'll just be there and then it'll just be like a bigger thing if you could get a bigger rock, though, that might be hard to find. Maybe check Amazon. They'll probably have one. Das Gebiet oben mit diesen Steinen, das ist noch schneller unterwegs. Sieben bis acht Metern Geschwindigkeit im Jahr unterwegs. In den That's letzten wild, ungefähr actually. zehn Jahren hat die Rutschung sehr stark auch beschleunigt. Hat plötzlich irgendetwas im geologischen Untergrund wie einen Schalter umgelegt und die Geschwindigkeiten gehen enorm nach oben. Den Grund wissen wir nicht genau. Möglicherweise ähm, hat es einen Zusammenhang mit dem Winter äh, of Avalanches? Plötzlich mehr Wasser in den Fam! Kann. Das ist jetzt nicht Ain't no way, dude. Für die Leute im Dorf. Aber es ist einfach sehr unangenehm, weil die Häuser, die haben zunehmend mehr Risse. Dang! Im Worst case szenario würde hier ein Bergsturz herunterkommen von ungefähr 22 Millionen Kubikmetern. Das ist etwa achtmal das Volumen von der Cheops-Pyramide. Aufgrund dieser starken Bewegung im Gebiet sind oben die Felsen sehr stark oh, aufgelockert und relativ oft. Ähm, auch zu, zusammen zum Teil mit Niederschlägen fallen da einzelne größere Blöcke. Oh darunter. my goodness! The village is safe from the big individual rockfalls. It's far enough away. The road here, not so much. It'd be far too expensive to build massive protection barriers all along there. And besides, ah. the odds of a boulder actually hitting a car are small, but not zero. So what you want is something that can automatically detect rockfalls and close the road. Simple solution, a radar and a stoplight. So if the radar Valid. detects rockfall in a certain defined area, it triggers an alarm, the traffic lights go red, and then the radar tracks the rockfall. <clears throat> if the rockfall stops or it ends up in the dam, then the traffic light switches off, goes back to normal, uh, the road is safe to pass. My if goodness! The ends up somewhere close to the road, the traffic light switches to flashing orange, which means drive carefully because a boulder could be on the road or the road could be damaged. Radar has the large benefit that it works in all I mean, it's cool that they came up with that, conditions. though. Radar waves can penetrate fog, rainfall, snowfall, and hence works day and night and in all visibility conditions, which is needed for an alarm system. The traffic lights are about 450 meters apart, uh, which is hmm. the area considered as dangerous for the, for the traffic. We've got about 40 seconds from detachment to a rock reaching the road, and this is hmm. just enough for the cars to escape the dangerous area. They have to That's dive at certain velocity, otherwise they can't get away. And this is why cyclists are not allowed on this road. Mm. Here's the complicated bit. You can't just have this stop traffic any time the radar detects movement. The birds would set it off. My drone would set it off. Mischievous kids throwing pebbles would set it off. On that note, how do you calibrate something like this? 
We don't I'm have saying. a lot of false alarms. It's very rare that we close the road because of something else. For example, a, an approaching rain front that could look kind of similar. Since this is such an active site, this is the perfect site to uh, tune your algorithms or to develop the algorithms at all. We installed the radar 2017 and mm. after a test period of about a year, it went live with the traffic lights. And since installation, we've detected five and a half thousand events. From an wow. engineering perspective, setting up a radar and a stoplight is the easy part. The complicated part is working out the balance between false positives, good, where the road's going to be closed half the time, and false negatives, where cars could get hit by boulders. Now, I haven't seen any rockfalls here today, and I also haven't seen the lights change. And their logs now have thousands of rockfalls where the lights did turn red. So I'd say, They've probably got it about right. Well, that's I mean, pretty cool, man. I was just hoping there'd be just a little rock fall as I finished. Oh, just, man, that would have been pretty sick, though. Not, not that really would have been pretty sick, though. Just yeah. a little pebble. Let's, let's do that again. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, I, be, uh, I was just watching a Tom Scott video. This dude, like I said, he has to be doing the most random stuff, bro. But it's always interesting. It's always interesting because, like, 